Oh, right, perfect parry. Oof. Ow. <laughs> Hello guys and uh, welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. We have a couple of wolves down here if we try to listen. Sorry about this, sorry about that. No, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. It's all good. Only collect the rewards. Okay, I guess combat rewards, right? Uh, so let us see, let us see where. Oh, in AI in combat, okay. Right here, anti-venom. There's actually more, apparently. <laughs> okay, what else do I have? Also in combat. Uh, what is that here? No, not there. This one? Lupus protection or lu lupus lu lu lupus or it could be that actually um i would not be i have a feeling that when we get back to the the guy the the, the house elf i forgot his his name deke i think it was deke uh when we get back to deke i have a feeling that he's actually going to teach us about um about how to upgrade our gear because that would make sense right uh, so I have a feeling that next time we go there, we could actually do that. So maybe I should have gone there first. But uh, anyway, I'll, I'll stick to my whole... Let's, let's do these missions first and then proceed onwards. I really need to sell stuff. Uh, can I... Can I please... Can, can I... There we go. Sorry about my jumping. All good. Ooh. As long as no one minds. Oh, hello. Hello, area. How are you doing? Anything you're hiding from me now? Just a little chest? With gear I can't, <laughs> I can't take. Okay. How nice. Uh, first, I go sell stuff. That's probably the, <laughs> the, the, the main thing I should do. Uh, do you sell anything in here? I don't think so. No, I probably don't sell anything, do you? Uh, what about... What about... Over here, there should be a shop over here that does... Room. Room guy. You're back. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. That item Preview. is of the highest quality. Uh, they're all the starter ones. Okay, good. So, so I have a lot of stuff to sell you, by the way. I mean, I say a lot of stuff, I do mean a lot of stuff. Uh, brown leather gloves. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff here, as you can see. Uh, not, not the stuff I don't know about yet. I hope none of this is like something I should 100% keep so we'll, we'll, we'll see I guess I get people screaming in the comments if that's the case uh who knows who knows thanks for stopping by hope to see you again hope to see you too in the future yes of course Defender might seem like harmless, but... uh now I would like to go and buy some of the the, the flowers over here. I mean, I might as well, right? Let me just... There we go. Hello there. Hello. Be with you in a bit. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have any more. Yes, you do. Thank you very much. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Thunderbrew. No, thank you. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Well, you don't really do that. You have you have two of each. That's that's not a stocked shelf. That is like a bare minimum. 
Uh, but, but it's okay, don't worry, I, I, I respect you for still having it. It would be worse if it didn't, then I would definitely do a little complaining. All right, so Ronep. Ooh, Glad wait a came. second. Pavelio. Three uh, broomsticks, currently run by Saruna Ryan, and allegedly as and, uh, and as allegedly as old as, Hos as Hogsmeade itself. I don't know why I can't read that. The three broomsticks is a long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer of fire whiskey. Fire whiskey. Nom 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 nom. All right, Sirona, what would you like? Hello, Sirona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? See, now that's appropriate, because I actually helped... We, we've helped each other out. We know each other better, so... Speaking of which, I don't actually know a lot about you. But, but, but you know, we can consider ourselves friends now. Uh, we're working together. I did. Thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ranrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend, Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> no secrets? Why did you leave your box of letters with the Sprottles? Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this Sprottle. time? Sprottle. It's one I, of the few that I have I can't say I tease, young. right? It, it's it it's an issue with my, my Danish I heritage. What's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. I just mean general. Of a I, I guess me makes more sense. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Uh huh. And why does Mrs. Uh, a Miss? Is it Mrs. or Miss? I think it's a Mrs. Sprottle have a Wiganweld supply. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganweld potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wiganweld potion, an ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. What with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Yeah, no, I, I could start up my own potion shop one day, you know? I could try and stop by. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me. And to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Okay. Please do give Dot my love. Sure, I can see what I can do. Uh, Olivanders, how are you doing? I barely even seen you. It's kind of sad. You, you, you were like one of the most unique characters, and you, <laughs> like, barely do anything. I saw you once when I got my wand, and that's it. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Yes, it does. Hogwarts common rooms. Oh, the the, the Slytherin common room is also kind of nice. So Dorothy is where exactly? Uh oh, she's behind me. Okay, I see. I mean, there's that I can go to. Okay, all right. How how far do I have to go around? Quite far, it seems. Yeah. Hmm. 
That's pretty close, though. I don't know why you needed help, but uh, I'll give it. Oh. I'm sure it'll be harder to kill a mooncut. You're the little sod that saved Treadwell. Ow. Nope. Indeed it isn't. Never said it was gonna be. Ow. Would you stop? Could it be a Merlin trial? Yes, it could indeed be a Merlin trial. There we go. Revelia. So what do we have? We have you. Okay, I see. I know how to deal with you. Curses. Could be one more. There's a fifth. Revelio. Hey, it's okay. Why, why can't I... What? Okay, that's... Why, game developers? Why? What's the point of this? <laughs> okay, sure. Don't, don't let me get that then. Just put it in front of me and not let me get it. Merlin himself would be proud. Okay, right down there. Oops, no, no, I wanted to. There we go. Revelia. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Right here. I remember where she was. She was like in the in the field here, and then we have Claire over there at the stall. Yeah, I remember. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. It's Love Mrs. My okay. Life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I mean, believe it or not, I have some with me. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Uh, sure. And uh, what was in the box? Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Uh, what was Serona like when she was my age? Serona yeah? said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabel was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, Miss... M M Mrs. Sprottle, yes. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. 
No worries then, don't you worry. Uh, I'll actually go over here and sell stuff to Claire if I can. Thank you for all. I do appreciate what you went through to find my brother. Yeah, I uh, also appreciate that I killed him. Uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, how can Thank you, you say that? that? Come on, now be nice. <laughs> gratitude, you brave. <laughs> you brave soul. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, okay, let's go in. Why not? Mrs. Bottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Serona's box of. Better have a look around. I'm right see if here. I can find that box of letters. Ah, that's all the hall clumps for now. Mrs. Bottle should be pleased. But I already have some on me. Okay then. Nothing deadly in the water, right? I don't think the fish are deadly here. Oh. Lumos. More unidentified items. Revelia. Okay. Interesting cave. Uh -huh. I don't know which way to go first, though. I think the other way is best, and then I'll head this way. Because it seems like I have to slide down this way. I don't know if I have to do that this way, too. Hello there, small rats. Or mice. Whichever one makes you most uncomfortable is the one I'm going to go with. Landscape paintings, nice. I have a lot of decorating to do as soon as I get back to the rumor requirement. It could be like another episode of me uh, like managing it and everything. Uh, very cool. Ah. Either I'll have to fight that troll. Oh come or on. Oh, it's a big one, too. Oh, crap, whoops. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. I don't know what that would do, but there's something. Ow, I keep forgetting about that flipping attack. Oh, you have different uh, moveset there, buddy. At least somewhat. Oh my goodness. Ow. Okay. Alright. Stupefy. Oh, no, 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 whoops, I wanted to... Ow. Ooh, one of those times I really had more ancient magic. I think the best thing I can do is actually just go with Confringo all the time. Superfy. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Ow. 
Ow. There we go. Oh, I can throw the rock back. Okay, I see. Ow, okay. Aim budding much, huh? Oh boy. Right, perfect, Perry. Oof. Using an empty to free do anything. Okay, he's dead. Pretty strong one too. Big strong fella. This where I'm supposed to go? I don't I don't know. Oh well I'll just go this way. It goes somewhere anyway. Lumos. Leather saucer ahead. Leather? Hmm. I don't know, this one seems a little bit nicer, but I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at the leather sauce over ahead in a bitty. Pavelio. Lumos. I shall take you. You are mine now. You are my gold. Uh, so I'm guessing there's a path going down. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to go this way. I'm Because there has to be a backtracking way, right? Oh, dear Sorona, when I arrived here, I had a trouble sensing... I had a, a troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the first other first years i confess i worried that hogwarts might not have been the proper place for me and pondered sending an owl to my parents asking them to fetch me almost before the first week of classes had ended how did you know i presume you're not secretly allegiments what allegiments but i wonder that you that you seem to know my thoughts better than i did myself that day in the three broomsticks when you spotted me huddled in a corner staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer in an empty bit of parchment, my quill dropped ink woefully onto the floor, and you came to sit, sit with me. Well, I shall never forget it. I recall a sudden self relief, as if someone had cast Levy. Okay, I'll, I'll just kind of skim it. In the days that followed, I marveled on how you charmed, uh, I, in the non magical sense, I mean. Now that my school years are ending, the frightened first years of which I had seems worlds away, and I know it's because of you, because you saw yourself in the despair despairing creature in the corner of the pub and generously extended yourself to it. Your sincere and mirable. 
P.S. Please tell Miss Sproddle or M Mrs. Sproddle that I still had, uh, that I still plan to visiting her and Mr. Sproddle whenever I can for their delightful conversation, and I'm unashamed to admit her incomparable cauldron cakes. Ugh. I can't read. Reading is not my strong suit. My dear Sorona, I've sent a note to my dear M to separately to dear Mr. and Mrs. Sproddle for their hospitality. What a lovely respite from the castle. And Mrs. Sproddle's steak and kidney pie was... Kidney pie? Was simply glorious. I so appreciate you including me. I fear I must warn you. However, that this does not mean I will go easy on you the next week to match. Most gratefully, yours. Philo f f Philomena. A little bit of a... This must be Sorona's box of letters. Funky naming scheme. There's Sorona. Happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the kitchen and asked Fr Fanky to make your favorite cream crowdy. She was delighted to oblige. She's not sure why she got raspberries at this time of year. Genius. Best. Dear Mrs. Sproddle, mother and father were delighted to hear that you and I had spent the afternoon at the clad, clad rags last Saturday. They, they, I shan't soon forget how heartily we laughed at my efforts to lace the body... Bodies? Bodies? No, but bodies, right? Of my new dress. It was also a treat to dine at the Three Broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I consider myself more than lucky to have you and Mr. Mrs. Mr. Sproddle agree to let me stay. I know that my parents feel precisely the same way yours. Gratefully, Sorona. That goes out. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. Uh, dear Serona, I contacted this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you. Yours sincerely, Sh That's Sean? I think that's Sean. I think that's everything. Not seen. Serona will be glad to have this back. <laughs> oh, that's how you get up again. Revelio. And then there's, there's, of course, this one. Uh, can I, can I please, can, can I, thank you. Okay, let's go. To the Forbidden Forest, because that's where you want to be. All right, let's head back. Oh, this is the cave I went to, I think. All right, let us go. Oh, I need to go to Serona. What? What about the? Oh, so so I didn't have to give her more stuff. It's just that my character was like, oh yeah, I can give her stuff now. But but it seems like she already had some. So there's some dialogue mismatching there, where I I already had this stuff, but my character didn't realize that I already had given it. They gave it the option to give it though, which makes me wonder why they kind of messed up the whole dialogue for that. Oh, well, I'll forgive it for now. Can't unlock you. What do you I'll want? Fix him, that charm grinder. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes, and no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. Uh, I can see why. No. Uh, how frustrating. I, I guess he is pretty volatile. I can see why he said that. You do seem angry. Of course I'm angry now. 
in large part due to his absurd overreaction to what is simply passion for my work. Supercilious fool! He's passionate about things too, as I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Yeah. What was your business? Why this? And what else is in this cell? No, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. I'm not sure this is something a student should be doing on your behalf. Oh, it's nothing. And he deserves it. Trust me. He'll be in and out of there in no time. I'll find another way. Very well. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. I shall be right here. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. I do? <sighs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. I don't know when I got well it. Done. I'll take it off your hands now. Happy to be rid of it, I guess. I, 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 I'm just gonna assume I gave him a, um, a fake one, because I don't know when I took it. But yeah, like I said, I'll assume that I gave him a fake one. Although I'm pretty sure I just took it earlier. But I'll just give him a fake one to kind of just make him happy and make the other guy happy. So we'll see how that goes. Of course, glad to hand it over. Frankly, I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Okay. Oh, to see the look on Lordy's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. When was that? I don't... <laughs> okay. Uh, Serona, of course. Uh, where are you? Where are you? A little bit of my voice just kind of disappeared. Combat. Uh, what is this? A pumpkin helmet? Huh. Alright, quests. I need to go back to Serona still. Friend indeed. This is cellar? Oh, that's slowly cellar, okay. I don't remember when I actually went down there, but it's okay. Hello, Zerona. I must speak with you. Hello, Zerona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend, Mrs. Sprottle, with some hawk clumps for her Wiganweld potion. And I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. May I ask you about the letters in the box? I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. I'm Mrs. Sprottle, and you as close as you seem? I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness and that of so many of my friends got me through, well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. Okay, is Mirabel Professor Garlic? I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. The thing is, it's kind of weird because Zerona, like, she, she looks like she's a teenager or something. She does not look like an adult. It's kind of interesting because, like, she looks like she's my character's age. I guess it's because the developers made the skin a little bit too smooth or something. 
Uh, but but I just it's weird of me thinking of her like a thirty year old or something, or even a twenty five year old. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it. Uh, were you on the Quidditch team? One of the letters mentioned Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. Okay, I mean, happy to help. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Okay, good, good. Uh, I need to... Actually, I need to end the video right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.